Hi everyone, welcome to Dawn's Creative Spot. I'm Dawn Cody. I am a demonstrator in Maryland. And I am postponed last night my Technique Tuesday. Um, a friend came over for dinner and it ran over. Sorry. Last week I didn't get on. I've had some things going on. My uh, sister had to, I ended up having to go to my sister's last weekend or a week ago. Um, it was on Tuesday night. I got, we got a call from her. Her dog wasn't doing good. And then I ended up there at like midnight. I got some, sorry, I got a, I got a new chair. It's so much more comfortable than the last one I had. <laughs> Let's just say. You know when it's time for a new chair. Anyway, back to my sister. She uh, lost, so they ended up having to put their dog down. And I really liked her too. She was, I'm not a huge dog person because I was scared by them a couple times when I was younger, but I really liked her. I loved her. She was such a sweet dog. She only, she only barked at you if she needed to go out or, you know, when you first came in, like, uh, I'm here, you know, <laughs> type thing. But so, yeah, it was a sad week last week. So after all that excitement, so yeah, it's just been crazy. And I do apologize to everybody. Um, so yeah, anyway, we'll get on to some happy stamping stuff and let me just flip my camera. I'm going to go over some housekeeping stuff. And then I'm going to do a bundle with you guys. And I had the stamp set out. And I think I left it behind me. Hold on one second. Oh, I did. This chair is so much easier. It'll go back and forth and slide. Woohoo! All right. So let's go over some housekeeping stuff real quick and then we'll get started. All right. And if you're here, give me a like, give me a love, say hello. Even if you're not here, if you're watching the replay, always feel free to say hello. I guess I should straighten that for you guys. There we go. So I wanted to go over just a couple things that... Are going on right now it's stamping up and I know I've talked about this before but I just wanted to remind you in case uh, anybody is interested um, this is called join the fun uh, so you are getting basically you would join my team and you would get a hundred and fifty five dollars worth of stamping up products for just ninety nine dollars plus tax I would love for you to join. I would think we would have fun. And I've been trying to get myself inspired and all lately. Like I said, you know, this is, I thought, let me just flip my camera back around here. Maybe. So I thought this year was going to be better. No. No. Um, is it sad that it's only end of May and I'm like ready for the year to be done? <sighs> Craziness. So that's my story. Now back to this. So $155 worth of product for $99 plus tax. And so that would be fun. And like I said, you don't have to be... A demonstrator and try and make this a business you can just do it as a hobbyist and the perk of being a demonstrator is you get in on all the pre-order stuff so you get to see things before customers do you get discounts on your products uh, all kinds of fun stuff so we have that and I had oh here it is I have it hiding but if you ever have any questions or about anything going on, here are my email addresses. This is the link to my store. 
this is my email address here for you guys. So if anybody ever has any questions about anything, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. Okay. Next up is, oh, and by the way, the joining special for this ends at the end of the month. So if you're interested in this, got to let me know before next. Oh, gosh. Um, let's see. I can find my calendar on here. here. Excuse me. Monday, the 31st. So you have to let me know by then if you're interested. Okay. Oh, here's the... Oh, goodness. Don't tell me now I got the hiccups. This is not going to be good. So we've had storms here. So if we start getting another storm, I hope not. If it cuts out or something... I'll get back on as soon as I can, so just so you know. All right, so the Join My Craft Party. If you are interested in having a party, contact me, and um, this goes until the 14th. And with this promotion through Stampin' Up!, you get, for every $250, you earn an extra $25 in free product. So that's always fun. So if you wanna host a party, get some friends together, have a party let me know we can do Facebook we could do in person um, depending on where you live you know if you're here in Maryland somewhere we can arrange something uh, let me know because stamping is so much fun it can be relaxing and get your creative juices flowing so that's that special and like I said this one ends on the 14th of June this you gotta love is this this is june's paper pumpkin it is so pretty it looks like it's gonna be lots and lots of fun it's called make a splash and this is gonna have enough um this box is gonna have uh materials to make nine cards and envelopes you get the stamp set and you get not you don't get one stamp spot you get two stamp spots this time for that and so there's and it's um oh oh that's those colors never mind i got myself all excited i saw 21 to 23 and I'm thinking, oh, we're going to see new ink. Oh, no, Dawn. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So we're going to see ink colors from last year that will end next year. And then the new ink colors that we just got this year. So we could, who knows what we're going to get. Um, and actually, this is going to coordinate from the stamp uh, suite that I'm going to show you tonight. And look at the box, it's so cute. You could actually probably use that box and make something. Okay, so this is a new thing from Stamping Up. This is the kits collection. So this is basically just like um, Paper Pumpkin. Uh, they've taken some kits, I think, from the past, like you may recognize this one with the rain boots and everything. Uh, so they're taking this and making them into kits. Some of them are, you don't have to do any stamping. You just put it together. So if you're interested in that, this starts on June 1st. So that would be next Tuesday, right? Because I said Monday's the 31st. Yes. So the first would be next Tuesday. So keep that in mind. If that's something you're interested in, let me know. And we can look at that together if you want. This is another thing. This is free from Stamping Up. And I'll put this onto my website. And this is a free item. It's uh, United Through Creativity. It's a download. And it has multi multilingual sentiments. So we have places in like Canada and um, Japan. We have... Um, Australia places there so there's all kinds of multicultural multilingual sentiments and illustrations and that's for free so if you're interested in that let me know and I can either send you a link or you like I said you can go to 
my store and you can purchase it there. Now for the most exciting thing. Dun, da, 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 dun, da, da, da. I am offering a class. Woohoo! And it's not a card class. I posted this on my Facebook page and I also sent it in my weekly newsletter to my customers. So if you're interested in getting on my list, let me know. And I will definitely put you on my email list to let you know what's happening here in my studio as well as what's going on in Stamping Up. Now, I did see a couple things. Um, there was a stamp set they have on hold and um, the embossing paste that you can use. Those are on hold as well. One of those is. I'm not sure if it's both paste or just the one. I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, that's in a different drawer. Okay, so that's that. Now for the class. And this class is going to be, of course, after Memorial Day, which this would have been great for Memorial Day, but we'll get ready for 4th of July because it's going to be here for you know it. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? It's a wreath and you would get everything you need to make this. You would get all the stars, you would get all the embellishments, the USA um, boards and everything. You get it all for $25. If I have to ship it, then it's 30. That's what I'm making it right now. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be really exciting and I'm going to purchase one and get it started so you can see an actual one. But I just wanted to show you a picture of what it's going to be next or what's coming. So it's not a card class, but my first class is gonna be a banner or a wreath. Yay. Home decor project. There we go. So the stamp set I want to show you tonight. Oops, and I took my book away. Whoop, come on. It's from the annual catalog and uh, this is the one I just got in the mail like a week or two ago. I guess it was yeah, about a week ago. And I went and had this uh, spiralized, and I love it. You can, it's not expensive. You can take it to your local Staples and they'll do it for like, I got it done for like five bucks and I waited like an hour, if well, half an hour or so, depending on how busy your store is. But yes, I got this spiralized and I haven't put these in yet, but I'm gonna put these tabs in. So we'll do that. And I think this time around, I am going to do an extra paper pumpkin. If you're, if you're interested, I might send out a free one, but you would have to comment or like this pay, this video to be entered into the drawing. So if you don't comment or like, like it, then well, as they say, better luck next time. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to move this up here for a second. Let me see if I can. Well, maybe. No. Okay, so here's that. I'm going to put that right there. So the suite that I'm going to work with tonight is this one. This is beautiful. It's the sweet expression, or the suite is called Expressions in Ink. And it comes with paper it comes with an amphora pack which is these which i'll show you because i got this one and it comes with all these stamps and these are so pretty and i can't wait and it comes with dies so i have it all here and it shows here uh like the main this is what they suggest now you don't have to go with this you can you know do your own thing but um, in the papers, they have polished pink, the pale papaya, pear pizzazz, just jade, shaded spruce, and the evening evergreen. So a couple of the new in colors, a couple of the not so new in colors, which is fine. So let me just 
grab this sweet and I will show it to you. And then we'll make a couple projects. So here is our stamp set. It's a rubber stamp set. So it'll be easier. You don't have to use um, your foam mat if you don't want to. So we have these stamps here and these are so beautiful. And I'm just going to take out the dies here. The dies are called artistic dies. There we go. I hadn't even taken these out yet. You know, so let's just take this out and look at these dies. Whoa. Wait till you see this. Look at these dies. This is now, this doesn't go with any of the stamp sets, and neither does this. But how pretty would those be to make a card? This would probably... Well, no. I was going to say watercolor, but... I guess you could watercolor it. And I also... Um, I'm hoping next week for Technique Tuesday to do... We got a new um, coloring tool. And it is the Pastels. And let's see if I can, I don't think I could get this thing open. Maybe I did. I don't remember now. Because, you know, my nephew, he, I get a, a Stampin' Up box or any box. And he's, let's see what we got, Aunt Dawn. And so, it's just like, okay. And let's see. Maybe I'll show you guys if I can get the box open here. There we go. Let's see. So, these are the pastels. Ooh, I'm gonna need some skizzers. Get my scissors out here. I know, I said skizzers. Incorrect grammar. Okay. And let me see if it, ooh. I guess I'm attached to it now. Oh. Yes, that was Mickey Mouse, you saw. Okay. So we have uh, Coastal Cabana. Uh, Daffodil Delight, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple, I'm thinking this is Mango, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, and Poppy Parade. So I think this is the Daffodil Delight. It'd be nice if I open this and take it out and it says what the colors are. But I have a feeling that's not going to happen. So let me just see. And this could be a co fun coloring medium to work with. I think the last time I worked with pastels was elementary school. So I got to freshen up on that skill a little bit. Okay. Oh, it feels like chalk. I kind of want to do something with it. Let's see. Guess what? Dawn probably has scratch paper somewhere. Imagine that. Okay, let's see. Here is my scratch paper. Oh, and if you guys want a catalog, I will send you a catalog for $5 if you want me to ship it to you or if you want to come pick it up, you can come pick it up or like I said, if you're here in Maryland, we can meet up somewhere and um, go through it and you'll get some little goodies with your, your package. <clears throat> Had to wet my whistle, as they say. And guess what? You know, as a stamping person, you would think you could find a scratch piece of paper. You know what? I'll just use this scratch piece of paper. I'm just gonna see what it does. Oh, it writes like chalk. You hear that? It sounds like chalk too. Woo! Look. Maybe I need a different color. Let's see. Let's do the Night of Navy because it's a little bit darker. Man, I wish they had. What? Whoa! This is gonna be a messy pro. Do not allow a three-year-old to play with these pastels because I can see what would happen. that's going to be so cool. Now I got a blue thing. No, I'm not. Okay. 
for some reason I like to use this finger to do things. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. No, try and wipe it. Well, that's the fun part of being a crafter is you get messy, right? All right, so I'm just gonna slide this back in here for now. And I am gonna have to play with those right after this. All right, so that's those. So I definitely wanna learn, to learn those. So like I said, I think it was elementary. Just opening this in for a pack. And it looks like we got some. Let's see. Ah, the bag closed on me. Some gemstones. Let's see. What can I put? Let me see. Let me just flip over my dies here so you can kind of. There we go. Look at those gems. Woo! Sparkly. All right. So we got those. And, oh, let's see. Oh, we have little cutouts. Oh, this one already popped out. Oh, these are cool. Oh, what? Oh, my gosh. Are they supposed to? Oh, my goodness. These are so cool. So, it looks like some of these might pop out, and it has, like, the openings on it. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. And so it looks like you get several sheets. Let me see. And they all are looking the same. Yeah. So you get, let's see. Let's say one kit. Well, yeah, I kind of figured that. Okay. So let's see. One, two. Oh. Oh my gosh. Look. So it could be cool. You could do like the plain white and um you probably could um oh like I don't know if you could watercolor on these or not, but that would be really cool. But they're in gold too on the other side. Either way would work, I think. Oh, let's see. Oh, I thought I broke it. Ah, what did I do? Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see. So one, two, three, four, five. So you get five sheets. So that's pretty cool. All right. So we'll have to figure that out. And I broke it. Oh my goodness, Dawn. Let's see. I broke it at it. I think. I don't know. Unless it's supposed to be like that. I haven't played with this set yet, <laughs> as you can tell. Okay, let's get to stamping, shall we? <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I keep getting, like, a froggy in my throat. I told that to my nephew. I don't have a froggy in my throat. Just a tickle. I'm like, okay. <clears throat> and, just real quick. Paper. Can't go wrong with Paper. So after this, I'm just going to do like maybe one or two cards just so that you can, simple cards, so that you can get an idea of this set. Look at this paper. Oh my gosh. Let me just move this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this has like the gold in it, just like the Inforum pack. Oh my gosh, this paper. This is going to be hard to use, this paper. It's so pretty. And look at this. That's so pretty. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, the back is going to be beautiful as well. Okay. I love the DSP that Stampin' Up! has. It is just, it's so pretty. I love it. Look at this. thought I missed something. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's blank. But look at this. Oh my gosh. This is just so pretty. And then we have this one. This is where I thought I missed something because it's all white right there. So I thought I totally missed it. So I got that. And then we got this color. 
this might this is probably the pale papaya oh my gosh we got stripes peoples we've got the stripes if you're a stripe fan look at this stripe isn't that just pretty oh my goodness the back oh my gosh wait till you guys see the back of this paper and then i promise we will get started stamping i i know i'm like rambling on but like you gotta see what's in these packs you know okay so we got that we've got this okay trying to get these like somewhat to together all right let me see if i can get them all here let me flip it okay that's a hard flip when you oh my gosh look at this oh my goodness they're so pretty oh i love this one i think that's my favorite because it has like that turquoisey oh look at that that's beautiful and we got this and, and we got this that almost looks like a heart all right so let me get started here hold on okay Right. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of the new in colors. Let's see if I'm gonna do just gonna grab one of each. Okay. So I'm kind of going to do like the whole like in color thing, kind of. It's going to be a little different. So let me just close this, move that. Clear that froggy a little bit. And let me get started. I am just going to take my... Whoops, put that back in just a second. I'm gonna take my paper here. This is eight and a half by 11. I'm just gonna cut it in half to make my card base. So I'm gonna cut it at five and a half. And I will admit I am not the best straight color cutter but if you're not a professional you don't know okay that one's better and i got just like three more here just doing this real quick luckily So if you're on and there's a preference of color you would like to see, let me know. And I'm going to try and get on on Friday night for some fun Friday crafting. And um, what I'm going to do is um, paper pumpkin. I got that in last week as well. So we'll do that. Okay, I got those. Now let me just grab a little bit of white. Let's see. Yeah, let's see here. I like packed a bag of stuff. You know, cause So one night, I also want to show you guys how to do these. I think they're really cute. I got that from my upline as a gift. 
for um, being on her team. So that's another perk of being on a team is that you get gifts from your upline. So if you join my team, you get extra special goodies. All right, I'm just gonna take the two from here and I'm just gonna use these. Yeah, you know, okay. I have to look and see if it's done. All right. So let me put that aside and let's see. I think I wanna do the soft succulent because I just, I'm a green person and I just like this color. So I think I'm going to do, since I only have, ooh, whew, I thought I messed up my paper. Um, let's see, since I have two, I think I'm going to do, play, let's see, soft segment. And do I want purple or, I like the papaya. And here's our mascot. She finally decided to come join us. So I think I'm going to do these two colors. Kind of springy, and I'm just gonna take them and fold them in half. Let's see, where's my, where's my bone folder? And I'm gonna just kind of fold this in half. And I'm gonna do the same thing with our pale papaya. this really quick all right and I am gonna take and I saw this um this is something that I saw from Dina Rico she's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Iowa and I just thought this was so pretty like how she did it it was so simple and I think let's see I'm gonna, yeah that one so I think this is gonna be yeah too small all right, so I got this idea from her, and I just thought this was so clever. And actually, hmm, I might change it up a little bit. Let's see. Because she did matching, like, the in colors on the same sheet, but I have a different idea that I think think I'm going to try. So I think I'm going to put the, the purple with that one and let's see, do I want darker? The green or the pink? Let's see. Mm, I like the pink. Okay, so we're going to try this. And if all else fails, flip it over and do it again right and I'm gonna also take this stamp here so I'm gonna take two stamp actually three and you always need thank you cards so I'm gonna take this thanks out and I'm gonna just throw my stuff over there for right now throw my trash and I'll clean it up in a little bit okay so I want Pink and the pur purple, right? Isn't that what I said with the pale papaya? Yeah. Okay. So I want polished pink and I want the purple freesia. Sorry, guys. You get to see my... See? I got my favorite color on. Got that teal color. All right. So I'm just... Whoop. Sorry kind of stamp that a little bit on my thing here and I'm gonna take my sheet here and I'll start with the purple now if I don't like this it's gonna get changed so we'll see how it looks all right and this is kind of cool it, it yeah just wait till you see this guys this is like awesome okay like I'm trying to get enough ink, but I don't want too much on here. Alright, 
So I've got my paper. Okay. And I'll just stamp that down. Okay, ready? Look at that. Isn't that just the coolest thing? And I'm just going to do this again. Okay. And I'm just going to go. Make sure you have something on your work surface. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And here's what I'm going to do. I just had an idea. Another idea. So I'm going to get this out and we need this one. Get this out. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my flower in the purple. Get that all inked up. I'm going to stamp it off. So I'm going to make it lighter. Now again, if this doesn't work, we can always So to see how it's lighter. Now I'm going to take my memento and I'm going to put thanks and I'm hoping this will work the way I'm thinking that it will. I thought I just had my hand in that. And I'm just going to stamp the word thanks. Look at that! Oh, that's cute! Oh, I like it. Now, let's just pray that it looks good when I put it on this paper. Because otherwise, guess what? We're going with the purple. Yeah, alrighty. So, let's see. Oh, my goodness. I actually like that. Oh, my goodness. I like it. I like it. I like that it just has like that little bit of a contrast to it because this is what it would be with the purple and I'll just go ahead and do that too just so you guys can see and then I'll do one more. Oh, I like them both. And all right, we're going to just go with it. We're going to go with the purple, but see how easy this is. It's so simple. Then all you got to do is take and put your little piece on the inside and then you just write your little thank you note. Like from me, I, I would give you guys a um, little thank you for joining the team or, you know, thank you for the wonderful year that we've had. All right, so I'm just gonna take and I'll just and center this here knowing my look okay so this I have to like concentrate so hold on one second da, 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 da. look at that so pretty all right now I have to do the simply succulent because I think that's gonna be gorgeous okay so I'm gonna put purple back my pink. I'm going to go with my soft succulent. And I actually need my stamp pad. Or my, my, my thingy here. My cleaner. But if you're going from a lighter color to a darker color, you don't really have to clean it as much. Because it won't really interfere with it. But if you're going from you know, dark to light thing. Yeah, you really need to clean it and you should clean it by stamping it off first and then doing it unlike what I just did. All right, so let's do this one last card and I will let you go. And I think, let's see, that's kind of a big flower. So I may not do that. Okay, let's just start with this here. Okay, ready? Here we go. So we're going to just stamp this. Oh my gosh. It's just so cool how you get the different shades of that soft succulent. 
so pretty okay and i think i may have pressed a little hard but well you know. all right i just want to make sure it gets on there you know all right look at that oh my gosh and see how they're like kind of same but different i mean it's just so cool i love that it looks like a watercolor so pretty so i'm just gonna stamp off some of that and actually i'm gonna do this i'm not gonna actually i am so i'm gonna try this and see what happens here so i'm gonna take the flower i'm gonna stamp off a layer then i'm gonna stamp this And get that lighter and I'm gonna take the green again and I'm just gonna do my thanks okay I was just making sure I didn't have a little extra here okay I thought it was crooked but I guess it's not Ta da look at that and that's all using the Simply Succulent color. So, this one I did the black, and this one I did the Simply Succulent. So, you could do this in all colors. You could do this in our uh, Coastal Cabana. I should have done Coastal Cabana. But, oh well. Alright, so. So, look at this. Let me just attach this, and we'll have two cards. So... Again, if you were on or if you see this later, say hello. Give me a like. Give me a love. If you have questions about anything going on, please feel free to email me. Or, like I said, if you're interested in getting the... Um, uh, hold on, I'm trying to, trying to focus here. One second. okay there we go so look at this two beautiful cards simple sweet all you gotta do is add your message on the inside you can always if you want to just write on here you can if you want to add a white piece you know so it's like this you can do that so let me flip my camera around here now i got my hair back up i always do that when i stamp but y'all have our corks, right? So thank you all for watching. Um, I will see you Friday night for our paper pumpkin. I will let you, I will post on the, my Facebook page um, what time. Because uh, my sister usually picks up my nephew on Friday. So I have to wait and see. There we go. It's a hot mess, but hey, end of the day, right? Oh. So, I will let you know what time that is. I thank you guys so much for watching tonight. I hope you enjoyed the projects. And um, Friday, like I said, we'll do the paper pumpkin, which is the baseball paper pumpkin. Uh, again, questions or if you want the United Through Creativity, I will post that on my site. Uh, I will see you guys on Friday. Bye!